Okay, uh, Martin, well, we, we were just a little while ago, we were, we were talking about your beverage antennas and the fact that you have two of them up. So why don't you pick it up from here and, and uh, tell us a little bit about it. Okay, well, the beverage antennas I'm using are an average of 900 foot long. They originate at a height of about 9 foot and rapidly taper off, carrying a mean, ele uh, mean average elevation of about 5 foot. They originate right here at, this, at these spools. The particular one we're going to talk about points to Los Angeles County. I can't see that from here. You can't see <laughs> Los Angeles County from here. That's where Willard lives. <laughs> Willard. Pomona. From almost Chino. You know, Willard's got a VCR. Willard's going to have to see He's this video. He's going to see this. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. so anyway, Just for you, Willard. I don't know if you'll want to leave the camera on the entire walk, but we'll no. have to walk through the trees here. Sure. And what's this doggy's name here? Sausage Hound? That's Hunts. 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 Say hello, Hunts. Hello, Hunts. Can you bark? And how about the little guy, the little terrier guy? Shorty. Hello, Shorty. Hello, Shorty. And how do how do I avoid the cacti? There's none here. Wow, do I see an end down there. <laughs> There's an end. There's an end, folks. Ah. Yes. There's an end and I see beverage antennas. Oh, there's cacti here. It just about got that one. Or it just about got me. Okay. Huh. Well, this is the end of it here, Dave. We come into an insulator down into a little weatherproof box. I'm going to try to get the cover off without getting in trouble. Well, take my word for it, in that box is a... <laughs> I didn't bring a screwdriver. Yeah. In that box is a 230-ohm, 220-ohm uh, 2-watt carbon resistor. And uh, you haven't stopped with just a... Uh, uh, a common little ground. You have a uh, a real ground stake going down there. Yes, that's a six foot copper. Six foot. Six foot. Yeah. Huh. And the, the soil gets pretty hard uh, when you get down very deep. Sure. Or, or you can go deeper with a ground rod, but it works fine. I'll give you a better perspective now of uh, where the house is. From the end of it, you can see the house back over in there. Oh yes. Here from the terminating point of this beverage antenna. To the point of origin, which is the tower with the, uh, just to the left of the water tank there, that's where the tribender is supported. That's the point of origin wow. for this antenna. 900 feet. That's correct. You know, uh, if, if I didn't know otherwise, I would say that uh, there's some sort of a shortwave radio station over there. Would that be uh, pretty accurate? I think it's one of those clandestine operations. I think so too. Yeah. You suppose there might be some some of these uh, important important sound bites of this video have just been destroyed, folks. Uh -oh. What I was saying, I just wondered. You talked about clandestine operation. Do you suppose there might be some AM operators over there on the ham bands? Well, I know the guy that lives there is weird. It's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> is this AM? Is it still legal? Can these guys still? Uh, us CBers use it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Marty. Thanks a lot. This will okay. conclude our, our video, and uh, sure pleasure coming out here and meeting with you. Thanks for having me, Marty. Very good, Dave. Bye-bye. You come back again. Thank you.